Hey everybody, it's Lisa Freeman from StampingWithLisa.com coming to you live on Tuesday, July 5th, 2022 at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. So welcome, welcome, welcome. I already see a few of you guys on here. Hey, Debbie Spicer. Yes, I am tired. I am exhausted, girl. And I was going to try and get a nap in today, but I didn't have time. So um, I had to take a caffeine pill earlier today. <laughs> sleepy and I'm like okay I don't have time to take a nap today so I got to get some energy and I don't drink coffee so I had to just take a little caffeine pill and give me some pep <laughs> I'm telling you it's rough I worked last the last four nights and uh whew, I'm telling you I am pooped 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 and for some reason I'm crooked on here I don't know why Let's see if I can fix it a little bit can everybody hear me and see me good? Hope you guys had an awesome holiday weekend. There was fireworks every single night here till like midnight. I don't know where all these people got all these fireworks. Um, hey Laura, hey Lorraine, how you doing? Um, hey Sherry. I did have a pretty good weekend, even though I had to work. It was still pretty nice at work because we weren't too busy, so I got a ton of stuff done at work. Um, hey, Kathy. Hey, Sandy. Hey, Josephine. Hey, Debbie. Hey, Barbara. Hey, Sharon. Hey, Audrey. Hey, everybody. Hopefully, I got everybody on here. Oh, any excitement this weekend that I missed? I don't know. I feel like all I did was work work and uh, clean my house a little bit and do some laundry. I need to do a lot more cleaning though. I think that's what I'm going to do tomorrow. Um, <laughs> Robin says, bet you hate cutting that paper. This is actually easy to cut. I'm going to show you how to do it tonight. It's pretty easy and uh, easy four cards you can make. So we're doing these four cards tonight, all of them, and we're using the brand new paper from the Celebration called Wonderful World, and I love it, love it, love it. It's so gorgeous. Hey, Carol. Hey, Judy. Hey, Linda. Hey, Karen. How y'all doing? Most family time and eating too much. It was funny. A guy came in um, yesterday, last night, and they were having a cookout, and um, he uh, came in for something, and he's like, well, I gotta hurry up. How long do you think it's gonna take? And I said, why? He goes, because he said, I'm in charge of cooking uh, at the cookout tonight. And I said, well, I said, maybe if you bring us some later, I can speed it up for you. <laughs> I said, what are you having? <laughs> and he said, oh, we're having some ribs and some brats and some pasta salad. And I said, you have a macaroni and cheese? He said, no, no macaroni and cheese. I said, well, I'll be here all night long. Just bring back a plate for me. <laughs> So a lot of people brought in food yesterday, though, so we did have a um, a nice little uh, dinner for us, which was good. And somebody made a trifle that was so good. It was like cake and vanilla pudding and some blueberries and strawberries and blackberries all mixed together. Oh, my gosh. It was so good. Um, but that was about it. No excitement for me this weekend. Hey, everybody. All right, so maybe you guys have seen this before. I just um, saw it about a week ago, and then all of a sudden, like, all these videos start popping up. It's funny how, like, when you look at something on YouTube, and then all of a sudden, all these same things start popping up. Like, if you look up, um, like, remember about a week ago when we were talking about the flowers for this, and I looked up Edelweiss on YouTube within... The next day, all these videos of Sound of Music start popping up and Julie Andrews and all these things. And I'm like, that's so weird. I look up Edelweiss on YouTube and that's what pops up like all this time. So I saw this video and so then I started looking for a few more. And now like every time I turn on YouTube, one of these videos pops up with this um, technique, the stack and cut and shuffle. So... um I don't know who created it, but I watched about seven or eight videos trying to get the hang of it, and I kind of figured it out, and so now I'm going to show you how I did it, and um, I have a little bit of a twist on it than other people, so 
um, hopefully you'll stick around for the whole thing. Um, let's see. Oh, trifle. Judy, you love trifle. Me too. I have a really good recipe for one somebody gave me a long time ago. It is a chocolate one, which I'm not a huge chocolate cake kind of person, but you take um, chocolate cake and, or you can use brownies, either one, and you kind of rip it all up. And so you, you make two cakes, like two nine inch cakes out of one box and you rip up one cake, put it all in there in the trifle bowl. Then you mix up a box of chocolate pudding, the big bo a big box of chocolate pudding, and you put half of the chocolate pudding down. Then you put half a container of Cool Whip. Then you put crunched up Heath bars or any chocolate candy of your choice. I like the Heath bar crunchy ones. You can get them in a bag, you know, that's next to the chocolate chips. And then you just make another layer right on top of that. So um, that is like one of my favorite ones and it is so good. So, um, well, let's see. You, Karen says, so need some fun times with you. Went to pain management today. He said it's time for a next step. So see a surgeon. Oh, I'm sorry. Debbie Spicer says, you've been eating all day. I have been eating all day too. And you know what I, I did, um, that was bad is, I, um, about once a month, I make little treat bags for my coworkers in, in the front office, you know, because I'm the supervisor. So um, I went and bought all these little treats, and one of them was a box of Little Debbie's chocolate. Um, I'm not sure exactly what they're called. They're like chocolate fudge rounds or something, and they're like two chocolate uh, cake things. with. They're like the oatmeal cream except they're chocolate. And... So I have 10 people in the front office, and so I need at least 10, and then 12 comes in a box. So I said, oh, well, I can have two <laughs> and still have enough. <laughs> so I opened the box and ate two. <laughs> but then today I really wanted another one, so I ate another one. <laughs> so now I've got nine left. So now I have to go buy another box. <laughs> I was a very bad girl, but little Debbie snacks just bring back memories of when I was a kid and, and we used to eat those after school. Uh, okay, Debbie Spicer, what? You've never heard of a trifle? Oh my gosh. A trifle is just when you get a big glass bowl and you stack it with stuff like cake, pudding, fruit, or Cool Whip or something, and then you do it like two layers. So it just is a big glass bowl and then it's layered dessert in there. That's what a trifle is. Look at Look it up on Pinterest. You'll find about 100 recipes. I cannot believe that. Anything of Little Debbie's is good. I know it. And it's pure sugar. It's like you take a bite. My favorite's probably those little Swiss cake rolls. Those are the best. Oh, my gosh. All right, so let me show you how to make these. We're using this paper, which is The Wonderful World. And I have already gone through almost a whole pack of this one. It is so pretty. So we're using... This one right here, not the back, just the front. This one, this one we're not using, but this one would go good with this one. We're using the back of that one, which I hated to do that because this is my favorite piece in the whole pack, but I'm using the back of it. And then this is the other piece I'm using. So this one, well, I'll show it to you. I have them all cut up already, but it is the prettiest paper, but you can only get it with a hundred dollar or more order. And then we're also using the Wonderful World stamp set, which comes with it. So if you spend $100, you get the stamp set and the paper for free, which is a good deal. And then we're using my new favorite greetings, which are called go-to greetings. So we're going to be using the happy birthday from that. And I love it because it's got small, medium, and large words in there. So you can find one to fit whatever you need it. So I needed like a medium-sized one for this card. So I picked that. All right, here, let me move these out of the way and show you what you need. So we're using, we're making four cards at the same time. So you need four pieces of five and a half by eight and a half pair pizzazz. You need four pieces of white for five and a quarter by four. You need four pieces of the designer paper and I have these four and one of them is front and back. So. These two, I used the same piece, I just flipped it over.
but you want to find four that really coordinate together and I felt like these four pieces really went well together um, so just pick any four pieces you want and cut them at five and a quarter by four inches so we've got those four and then I've got four pieces of the white to put my words on. These are three quarters by three inches. And then I'm also gonna have some linen thread for my bows. So I love my linen thread. So you need some of that. And we're gonna use some pearls and then that's it. And then here is the template that I used. So if you wanna take a screenshot, for some reason my camera is not moving hold on oh I got stuck okay here we go all right there we go oh is everything in the picture hold on let me see hopefully you can see all that I don't know if you could see that let me move it up just a little bit okay so hopefully you can get all that in the screenshot um, I love the go-to greetings, your favorite too. Oh, Sherry, I love them. Um, Debbie. <laughs> Debbie Spicer says, Lisa, 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 we have to talk about an eating plan. What do you plan to eat? <laughs> I plan to eat little Debbies. <laughs> you know what's so funny? I really, really, really was trying hard to be on a diet, and... I went for like two or three weeks and I was eating really, really good. I wasn't cheating. I was doing so good eating salads and, you know, low carb and everything. I lost zero, zero pounds. So then I said, forget it. I'm just going to eat whatever I want. So then I went a couple weeks eating whatever I wanted to. I lost zero pounds. So I stayed at the exact same weight for a month and two, two weeks I ate really strict dieting. The other two weeks, I ate whatever I wanted, including ice cream, whatever. And I said, this is just ridiculous. I, no matter what I eat, this I stay the same weight. So I kind of gave up on the diet. I don't know. I don't know what I... And I'm exercising. I mean, I'm working in the yard and at work when it's not busy. I start walking around a lot. So I don't know. I think I'm just like menopausal and it's just like hard to lose weight. I don't know. Um... Hey, Lisa Saunders, you're starstruck, Lisa. <laughs> you're so funny. <laughs> uh, okay. How is everybody? You ready to start stamping? And let me show you how to do this. Oh, Brenda, you got your card today. Great. Um, oh, and Tillamook ice cream. Yes, Tillamook ice cream. Got to have some of that. I know, I was reading some comments from the other day, and somebody was talking about peach pie or something, and they're like, I gotta put some ice cream with it. What kind of ice cream should I get? And somehow I missed the comments, and I'm like, what do you mean? If you watch my channel, you know what kind of ice cream you should be getting, and it's, it's not called Briars. It's called Tillamook. <laughs> so, that's the only kind of ice cream there is. All right, hopefully you got a screenshot of that, and I'm gonna stop talking for a minute. And get situated all right so we're gonna be cutting this piece these pieces there's four at the same time so this is how we're gonna cut it let me get that out of the way all right so first cut hopefully you got a picture of this because this is the cutting directions and this is how you want your pieces to go so each piece is this size right here and we're gonna be cutting them all the same size so we're gonna do the first cut at two and three quarters. So I'm gonna get my paper trimmer. Now, I like to cut my paper upside down, but for this method, you really need to do it the right way. So that would be having it this way. I normally cut mine the other way around. So if, if you do that, then you gotta switch all the measurements around so it doesn't work. So hopefully you can see this. So stack your stuff up just like that. And the first cut we're gonna do is at two and three quarters. So we're gonna put this down and put it at two and three quarters. And the reason I don't like this is because I can't see that far. So I've got a measure right here at two and three quarters up at the top. And I'm looking at the computer screen because I can see that better than I can see this. 
All right, so then what we're gonna do, since this is four pieces, it's easier on a chopping kind, but we've got four pieces and we're just gonna go back and forth a few times. And then you get these two. So that's our first cut right here at two and three quarters. So we're gonna set that aside for a minute. Now we wanna cut at two and a quarter. So we're gonna turn it at two and a quarter. And here's two and a quarter. Hopefully I'm still in the picture. Oops. All right, so two and a quarter, and we're gonna do the same thing. So we're just gonna go through all of that. So now we've got this first part done. We've got this part done. And now we wanna cut this one. So the third cut is two inches. So I want two inches from here. And I think I did this, yeah. Okay, wait a minute. I'm gonna have to switch it around. <laughs> I should have said three and a quarter because I did it. I must have done it this way. Wait a minute. If I do it at two inches, well, it doesn't matter. We'll do it at two inches. Um, it'll still come out right. All right, so two inches this way. If you do it at two or three and a quarter, it's still gonna work. Um, all right, so let's just do that. All right, so it's kind of backwards, but that's all right. So we've got that and that. Even though it's reversed, it's not gonna matter because none of those pieces are gonna go together. All right, so so you can do it at two or three and a quarter, it doesn't matter. All right, so now we've got four piles. So here's what we're gonna do. So we've got that done. So we've got our four pieces of cardstock and our four piles. So this is how I did it. I've seen people do it all different ways. I think I'm gonna Put these straight across so we'll have it like this and hopefully that'll fit okay so here's all four pieces of cardstock so what you want to do is you want one for each one so I've got that one I've got that one and that's our top uh, corner so you've got that and then we've got our bottom piece now you can't match them together. So what most people do is they go to the next one and they put this one and then this one and then this one and then that one's left over. And then we're gonna go to the next pile. So we've got this one, it's already on those two. So let's put it there, but I don't like that one there because that gives me two flowers together and I don't want the two flowers together. So I'm gonna put it here. And then I want, this one has to go over here. Oh, there's a fly in here. Ugh. And then this one has to go here. And this one goes here. All right, so you just have to make sure you don't have any of the same on the same piece of paper. But the reason I did that, because I don't want like this one and the flowery ones together. I want them diagonal from each other. So that's why I'm doing it this way. All right, so we've only got one choice left. That's that one, this one, this one, and this one. So then just double check, make sure you don't have any of the same ones. And I wanted to make sure on all of mine that I have the flowers opposite of each other diagonally. So I've got them here, here, like that. Because if you have them next to each other, it's just too busy. I don't like that. So that's why I did it that way. So I think this is the easiest way to do it. You can just put them in piles and shuffle them if you want to. Um, and that's easy too, but I kind of wanted to put mine in a certain way. So here's all my four cards. Now all I have to do is glue them together. So let me move these over. And we're gonna glue them together in the same order that I've got them down here. So I'm just gonna move these over here, flip them over. All right, so this one, I hate even gluing this one because it's so pretty. And that goes in our top corner. And um, I've seen some people put them right up next to each other, like they're butted up next to each other. I wanted a little bit of the green showing through. So I did basically like a one, in, one eighth of an inch border on mine. And um, then you get the green showing through. 
And hopefully I didn't mess that up. I should have used four different pieces instead of two of the same because then it's a little confusing because on the back is the other one. All right, this one goes at the bottom. And I've got that little bit of green showing around, which I like better. If you want to butt it up next to each other, you can, but um, I just didn't want to. All right, so last one. And make sure your flowers are going the right way. You don't want them upside down. So there we go. All right, so there's one. Now we're going to do this one. I think I'm just going to do one at a time. That way I don't get confused. If you have um, short-term memory, you might forget that you flipped it over and put the glue on the wrong side or something. All right, so that one's there. And these are super easy, really. I mean, there's not much to it. You can use any pack of cardstock, I mean, of designer paper that you have. And just pick four pieces. Um, I think it's good to use two that are kind of busy and two that are kind of subtle. And I think it comes out better that way. If you have like all four busy looking ones, then it, it's going to be too much when you put them together. Okay, so there's two. There's number three. I got glue on my finger. Let me see if I missed some comments. Oh, somebody said it's blurry. Hope it's not. My screen is clear, so that's a good thing. Um, oh, Jody says, Bluebell is the best ice cream. I don't think so. We need to have a vote because Bluebell is not as good as Tillamook. <laughs> we have Bluebell here. But um, I think everybody that I know who used to eat Bluebell because we got into this discussion, I have converted everybody to Tillamook. So anybody who used to like the Bluebell now likes Tillamook better. So you just need to try it. You will love it. Um, oh, yeah, you guys, give me some thumbs up. It's only 33 thumbs up, and we got 109 people watching. So hit that like button. And... Make sure if you're not subscribed, you subscribe and send it to your friends, share it, all that stuff. Hey, Donna. I work at an urgent care center. Um, so we're open 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. every day. And um, so most of the time I work the night shift because since I'm the supervisor, I always have a ton of paperwork to do. And it's hard to get it done in the time that they give me for admin. I only get eight hours a week to do admin stuff, which is nowhere near enough time. So if I work at night, I can get a lot of it done while I'm on the floor working. So that's one reason I like working at night. Plus, it's just not nearly as busy, so it's less hectic. You know, it's a little bit more relaxing. And the people that come in are nicer, I think, because it's not so busy. When it's really busy, you can't really sit and talk and chit-chat to people. And I am a chit-chatty kind of person. As some people like to say when they watch my videos, I I do too much chit-chat. But some of you guys like the chit-chat, chit so. <laughs> Karen, you don't have Tillamook? I bet you do. If you look, I didn't think we did. Well... I just happened to find it one day, and then I found out we do have it at a lot of grocery stores here now. So um, look it up, and, and you can type in your um, zip code, I think, and it'll tell you where the closest place to get it is. But uh, it is so good and just so creamy right out of the freezer. Like the Bluebell, when you take that out of the freezer, it's hard as a rock. you got to put it in the microwave for like 30 seconds just to get a spoon in it. But Tillamook, it is ready to eat right out of the freezer, and it's so creamy and perfect every single time. I think I might have to go have some after this video because I'm making my mouth water. All right, we're almost done with this. And then we're going to do the inside and the front decorations. We've got to do the words. 
and some pearls, some shimmer spray. I had a lot of people ask me about shimmer spray. So if you are new to the channel and you have missed my um, demonstrations about shimmer spray, I'll tell you how to make it tonight. All right, so now we've got those four done. So that's the main part. Now we're gonna do the words. So we've got four pieces of this. We're gonna do all the words on here. So I've got Old Olive. And I've got the Happy Birthday. So I'm gonna stamp them all in Old Olive. And go to the left, because we're gonna do a little arrow on the right. And I have one girl at work. I got her hooked on Tillamook and she has gained like 10 pounds. She was doing keto and was taking a break from keto. She had lost like 80 pounds. And um, I got her hooked on um, Tillamook. She's gained like 10 or 15 pounds back. So now she's mad at me. <laughs> it's not my fault, it's so good. It's... All right, so we'll just cut a little arrow in all these. She got her whole family hooked. I'm telling you what, I, I know of at least like a couple hundred people that I've gotten hooked on Tillamook. Everybody at work, that's for sure. All right, so just cut your arrows in here. I go straight up the middle and then go corner to corner. And that seems to be the easiest way to do these. And um, get this cute little arrow, which is always good. I've been doing this new trick lately where I just do like a diagonal line on each end, but I thought it'd be different today. So flip those all over and then we're gonna put some dimensionals on the back of these. So probably like three is good. I was looking for a joke for tonight. I couldn't find any. But I did tell everybody at work almost that one about the old lady and the passing gas. And uh, they all thought that was hysterical. That's definitely one of my favorite jokes now, I think. All right, so pull all these off. And if you missed that joke, go back a couple of videos and, and watch. And I told it on there. All right, so you can do these either straight across or I thought it looked pretty to just go in diagonal like that. But you can do it straight across if you don't like doing wonky way. I just liked it like that. Okay. It was hot today. I did not even go outside except to put something in the mailbox. So it was so hot out. I'm still in my pajamas. <laughs> That's my favorite thing to do on my day off is just stay in my pajamas, which in the summertime is basically like a little, um, it kind of looks like a little bathing suit cover up almost. It's, it's got like little spaghetti straps and it's just a little, you know, little dress thing. Kind of like, kind of like a nightgown, except I can wear it outside and nobody would probably notice, except I'm not wearing a bra. All right, we're gonna do the inside. Now on these, I did the little flower, this flower, but I thought for a few of these, I would just do the little paper across and that would look cute. So you can do either one. I'll do two with the paper and two with the flower. So we'll put that down at the bottom. Just like this, these were just leftover pieces that I had from cutting. So we'll do that on a couple. And then I'll stamp the flower on a couple. And, oops, upside down. And I experimented with the markers. For some reason, this stamp does not like the marker on the flower part. And I'll show you what happened. So this is with the actual stamp. And, uh-oh, how did I miss? Oh, that's the one I just made. Never mind. These are the ones I just made. All right, here's, that's the stamp. Okay, this is one with the marker. So for some reason with the marker, it's just like too juicy and it uh, 
doesn't come out as clear as with the ink pad. So if you use the ink pad, it comes out better. So I just did the very top of the flower and see how I made a little bit of lighter area in the middle. So just ink up just the top of your flower. And then if you get ink on the stems, just kind of wipe it off. So just wipe off that little bit. And then take your marker for the stems and color those. So the stems work good, but just the flower likes a drier pad. So then go, and there you go. See that, that comes out perfect if you do it that way. All right, so again, we're gonna stamp the flower right on the edge of the pad. I got a little bit on the um, leaves. So then just color that. And this is Pear Pizzazz. This is Blushing Bride, and the marker is Pear Pizzazz. And the paper was Pear Pizzazz too. Okay, so perfect, perfect. So we've got two like that and two like that for the center, the inside of our card. And so we're gonna glue all these inside. So flip them over and see what I missed. Oh, hey, is it Inica or Enica? You know you won a card the other day and I still haven't got your address yet. Debbie Spicer, right? Judy couldn't believe my career was done after as long as I wanted. I think I was four and always wanted to be an ER nurse. Silly but true. Oh, I must have missed something up here. Um, let me see. Oh, they call it Tilla Maps to find where they sell it. Oh, somebody made, oh, Stephanie made Nutter Butter Brownies. That sounds good. Is that like some brownies with peanut butter in the middle? That sounds yummy. Sue says, you're making me hungry for ice cream. I know it. Inika says, keep on chit-chatting. I think it's Inika. I can't remember. I want to say, <laughs> your name reminds me of uh, that chef. What's her name? I Ina Gard Ina Gard Gardner Gardner. But I'm I wanna say you told me it was Enica instead of Inica. Okay. Oh, somebody else is a nurse. Well, I'm not a nurse, I'm the front office supervisor, but I work with nurses all day. I think I could be a nurse. Because people, I could be a doctor, I think. Because people come in, and as soon as they sit down, I'm like, okay, what's going on? And they tell me, and I'm like, okay, you got this. <laughs> and like 99% of the time, I'm right. Like this lady came in the other day. She was coughing her head off. I said, you've got pneumonia. <laughs> she said, she said, you think? I said, I think it. I said, your cough sounds like pneumonia. And she, sure enough, they did check this, right? She had pneumonia. I said, I should be a doctor. Because <laughs> I get it right. Like, and I don't always tell people what they have because I'm not supposed to do that. But I'm thinking to myself, I bet they have this. And they come out. And I'm like, what when, What was happening? What did the doctor say? Because usually they all stop back by and say goodbye. All right. So, and it's so funny because, um, you know, if it's not busy, I just, I like to chit chat with the patients a lot. And so... They don't even want to leave when somebody comes to get them. The MAs come to get them to do the triage. And they're still sitting there talking. And the MA is standing there waiting for them. And they're like, oh, but wait, I'm not done talking to Lisa yet. <laughs> and I just start laughing. <laughs> I said, it's funny. They don't even want to leave and go to the back. They just want to sit and talk to me. Because I'm so much fun. All right, so I did most of the bows. I've got to do one. So I'll show you how to make one. I love this linen thread and I did double bows for these. So I've got three made and I've got to do one and show you how I made it. And I'm just sticking them on with the glue dot right at the bottom of the happy birthday. And I lost my piece of linen thread. Hold on. It's in here somewhere. Here we go. All right, so I've got a piece of linen thread and 
I don't know how long it is. It's about, let me see. I don't have a ruler here. Here we go. I'll tell you exactly how long it is. It is six, 13 inches. So it's 13 inches and I'm gonna fold it in half and make two. So now it's six and a half inches. You could probably get away with six inches if you wanted to make a smaller one. But I like having the long um, tails on it. So here we go. Oh, that piece is a little bit shorter. Maybe I cut that one too short. All right, there we go. It's a little bit wonky. Let me trim it up. All right, so last one. Oh, there's a little bug in here. All right, so we're done with our bows. And now we're gonna shimmer spray. So here's the shimmer spray. So what you do, you take a spray bottle, any kind of spray bottle you want, you fill it with alcohol. And I use 70% alcohol, just rubbing alcohol. Do not use the 90%, it's not gonna work. It'll clog it up. So you have to do 70%. Then you get your champagne mist, all purpose ink. We used to sell this at Stampin' Up! but they retired it like a year ago. And I stocked up, so I have a ton of it left. So I wasn't gonna use it for the longest time, and then I'm like, well, that's stupid. I have all this left over, so now I just keep using it. It comes with one of these balls in here. Can you hear it? So that's where I got the ball that's in here. It's a little ball bearing. I don't know if you can, you can hear it. But I just, when this was empty, another one, I poured it in there. You don't have to have that, but. So you just pour a little bit in here. So you just kind of take the lid off, shake it up, and you just kind of go like that for about one second. And there you go. So let me get a scrap piece real quick to put under this. And then we'll spray them all. Oh, you know what I forgot? Let's do the pearls first. Hold on. Let me do my pearls first. Get my take your pick tool. And read some comments because I've been slacking on the comments. Hold on. Oh, Stephanie, you love these prints. Aren't they pretty? Carla says, your urgent care is open one day a week, 10 to 4. Uh, what is the point of that? And who would work there if it's only one day a week? That's crazy. Ours is open 365 days a year, uh, 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. So pretty much all the time. It's not 24 hours, but it is like all the time. So I work the evening shift most of the time. So some of these I colored with the green, but um, we're just gonna stick a few of these on here wherever you like. Let's just put another one right there. And we're gonna put like four on each one. If you want to color them, you can. But I just didn't do it on this one. Let me put one here. And right there in the middle of the flower. I'll read some comments in just a second. Let me get these on here. Um, one, two, three. You need one more. Four. And whoops. One, two, three, um, four. All right, so there's our pearls. So now we're gonna spritz it. And it is so beautiful. Just gives it such a pretty, shimmer to it and I'll hold it up so you can see it takes a second to dry hopefully you can see that shimmer on there um, let's see okay I went back too far 
Um, okay, if you're looking for the shimmer spray, it's not on Amazon. This one is not. The white one is on Amazon. This one I found on, um, shoot, I can't remember the name of it. But just search, if you search for the name of this, look under Sukuniko, which is this right here. It's T-S-U-K-I-N-E-K-O. And then Champagne Mist Ink. And it'll show up. It's $4.99 on, I saw two different places online had it. And one was like a quilting place and I forget the other one. Can you guys see that shimmer on there? It's so pretty. Um, yep, that's all it is. Alcohol and shimmer paint. Oh, wow. Carla, you live in a very rural area. Your hospital is a satellite of UPMC. I'm not sure what that is. Um, Amazon has the Frost White, which is the shimmer paint, but it's not the champagne. It's more of a white. This has just like a little tinge of like goldish in it. Um, what would happen if you put in a drop of colored ink? I don't know. You can try it and see what happens. Yes, this would be great for using all of your um, old DSP, if you have a ton of DSP and scraps and stuff, because these are only, what, one and a quarter? Hold on. One and a quarter inches. Yeah, one and a quarter. So if you have a bunch of strips of one and a quarter, you could use that. This one is three and, no, two and three quarters. So you can use all your little scraps up for that. So I hope you enjoyed this video, making all these cards tonight. We got four cards done in the video, and I already had four cards. So I made eight cards total tonight, which is a ton. So I'll be giving some of those away. And next video, I will give some more away. Almost everybody has claimed theirs. I think I got two more people who haven't claimed their cards. Um, let's see. Let me scroll back and see what I missed. Uh, let's see. Okay, I missed a bunch of stuff. <laughs> Jody says, what flavor of Tillamook ice cream is the best? I love the butter pecan and I love the caramel swirl. Those are my two favorites. Um, the second pronunciation, not starting with I. Okay, so it's Enica. Enica. I got to remember that. My, my niece has one of her best friends is Annika with the an A. And she's from Germany too. Um, so I got to remember Enica. All right, so welcome everybody who was new and welcome back everybody who was not new. And thank you so much for joining me. We have 139 people on here right now. Wow, that's like a record, I think. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Make sure you give me a thumbs up. Um, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And if you wanna order, here's how you order. Don't forget it is celebration. So for every $50 or $100, you get to pick a free item. And the wonderful world is in the back right here. So you get all the paper and the stamp set with the $100 order. And I would love to be your demonstrator. And also, if you want to sign up, we have this great special this month. You get all this stuff right here, which is the planner, this gorgeous planner, everything that goes inside of it, three notebooks, and a stamp set. So all that is free for $99, bucks, plus you get $125 of whatever you want. So it's a great deal. That's in the back of your celebration catalog. So I'll try to use something else next time. I'm just kind of addicted to this paper and stamp set right this minute, but I'll try to do something different so you'll have a variety next time. This is just my favorite. So thank you so much for watching. And um, if you came in late, make sure you go back, watch the replay, leave me a comment. That's how you win one of the cards. I'll give away all four cards. Um, yeah, Debbie, don't do the shimmer with the 99% alcohol because it'll clog it up. Make sure you use 70%. All right, I will see you guys on Thursday for another video. Have a great night and take care. Bye-bye.